Wow, you have made it to the last part of the lesson. You are doing an awesome job. So in this part, in this last part, we will discuss how is fertilization important to living things. So first, what I want you to do is look yourself in the mirror. Look into the mirror. Now, which of the following features do you have? What is the color of your hair? Is it blonde, brown, black? I mean, most of us should be brown or black. How about your eye color? Um, do you have brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes? How about your hairline? Uh, is it straight or rounded? Or do you have a, what they call a widow's peak? Do you have dimples in your smile? How about your nose? Is it broad, narrow? How about tongue? Can you do this? It's called a roller tongue. I can do it. How about you? Is it Are you a non-roller? Are you multiple roller? How about your earlobes? Do you have free earlobes or uh, attached earlobes? Free or, I mean, they call it, another word is detached earlobes. Now, you notice that by now that you have many characteristics which are similar to either your father or your mother. Okay, and usually you have a mixture of characteristics from both your parents. And that's why people that come from the same family tend to look uh, or, and even behave alike. So we get our characteristics from our parents. So fertilization is important because many characteristics are passed on from parents to offspring. And that's why a panda will only give birth to pandas. And human beings will only give birth to human beings. Okay, This is also what makes you and your family so special and unique. Now, this is the special mission that I'm talking about. Okay, there are two tasks. Right, follow my instructions very carefully. Task one: you are supposed to draw your own family tree. Okay, I've shown you the family tree in the first, in part one of the video. Okay, you know, include your extended family if possible. Extended family meaning your uncles, aunties, cousins, grandparents, etc. Okay, you don't have to put in pictures like what I did, just names will do. Okay, so remember to include a key. Alright, so this is how a family tree looks like. Okay, and this is an example of my family tree. So no need pictures, you just have to include the names. Alright, now include a key as well to indicate which is male and which represents female. Okay, so this is task one. Easy, right? Now, task two is you are supposed to create a table, I'll show you an example later, on at least three characteristics that you and your parents have. Okay, so here's an example of how your table might look like. You can use any of the characteristics that I mentioned in the earlier part of this video. Okay, so complete both tasks before you come to class because we are going to use whatever you have done for a discussion in class later on. Right, I hope you have a better understanding on the process, the process of reproduction in human beings. If you have any questions, please feel free to jot it down and we will discuss it in class. Thank you for watching.